Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today I just wanted to go over how to check a refrigerant charge on an R22 system, okay? R22 system, uh, which is also referred to as Freon, all right? The Freon system uh, that has a TXV inside, all right? If you have a TXV inside the house, uh, right in front of the evaporator coil, or it says on the rating plate of the evaporator coil, or you, you spot the bulb or the external equalization lines, then you know that you can go ahead and check this unit in subcool, all right? All right, this is the indoor evaporator coil, all right? It says factory installed metering device, TXV, thermostatic expansion valve, and the refrigerant R22, which is also known as Freon. All right, we've taken the evaporator coil cover off, and in the bottom, down on the left-hand side, you can see it does have a TXV inside, a thermostatic expansion valve. Then you know that you can go ahead and check this unit in subcool, all right? This one right now says 93 degrees saturated state in the middle of the coil here, all right? So this side is the high side gauge, this side is the low side gauge. The low side gauge, which is blue, gets connected to the larger line, which is the suction vapor line. The red side, which is the red hose, that gets attached to the high side, all right? Your temp probe gets attached to the high side line within you know three inches of the service port right here. All right, in this case, I'm just using a thermistor here, a temp sensor that's uh, electrical taped onto this liquid line, all right? So if we had a piston or an orifice, we would use this side to check the refrigerant charge, but in this case, we have a TXV, uh, right, where the liquid line enters the evaporator coil inside. So presently, we have a pressure of 184 PSIG here. All right, you follow that into the saturated temperature, which is the green because this is Freon R22, and it says that it presently is about 94 degrees saturated in the middle of this coil right here. All right, what we what we can tell from here is we can tell what the saturated temperature in the coil is because saturated means liquid and vapor both exist at the same time. All right, uh, and. Then we just take that minus the temperature here, which is a liquid line. So once once it's done being a saturated state, it, it then turns into a complete liquid. And then from here until it comes down and then ends up coming through here, it's the temperature decrease in liquid form until it comes out here. And that's called the subcooling. So you take that 94 degrees saturated minus the 85, all right, and we're going to have or maybe about 86, so 94 minus 86, and we have eight degrees of subcooling. So it's a temperature decrease in liquid form, all right? That's how we can tell. The unit's actually calling for 10 degrees of subcooling up at the rating plate, all right, right on the top, okay? Um, actually, it's on the side, up high, all right? It'll actually say TXV subcooling, it'll say. Um, and this one is calling for 10 degrees of subcooling. We have eight that is still within the plus or minus three degrees of subcooling in order for this unit to work properly, all right? Uh, if you want, you can actually add a little bit of refrigerant to this thing um, just to get it up to 10 or 11. It's okay to go just a little bit above this way when you're going and doing servicing later. You know, you, each time you service this thing, you're gonna be in, end up taking a little tiny bit of refrigerant out if you do it right. If you, if you just disconnect the hoses completely, then what's going to happen is you are going to uh, steal a lot of refrigerant out of this thing. All right, so so that's how you do it. All right, this thing is charged properly. Uh, we are just a couple degrees lower. That's how it's done. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.